Hello, this is Max Drake. I'd like to talk to you about a Glide app that I built, um, which is for someone I used to work with who is in a sort of collective where they sell honey. And they sell it at a market and they also have uh, online shops and they have a web page here. Um, so I actually met somebody down at the market um, on the weekend and I thought about using their app, um, which is this one here, to display their um, honey a couple of times. I've been talking to people on the stall and um, uh, people come up, they're semi-interested, not quite persuaded to buy at that particular point in time. And it would be nice so that you could give them some information. So what I thought is if they had an app, they could scan it onto their mobile phones, they could think about it, maybe they'd come back and uh, um, they'd look at the product and maybe come back and buy it, or else you can actually buy online. And if you actually click one of these bits of product and if you order online, it takes you back to their website to do the ordering for that particular item. Taking its time about things about doing that, by the look of it. Um, uh, so you can select something. I think that one's a bit funny, actually. They've um, that oh, they haven't set up that page particularly nicely. Um, another thing that they do on their app, um, if we just dart over to that, um, their weights. If you go and uh, choose a product that they actually have, their um, uh, products are. Um, uh, in 250 grams or 500 grams I went looking for some honey and uh, I went found another marketplace and they actually had half a kilo and a quarter of a kilo and it sounded a lot more appealing I think it was half a kilo and a kilo of honey and uh, the half a kilo was just 500 grams but I it, persuaded me to buy so I thought ah oh, I'd convert that instead of doing the boutique ones I go to the high ones also the title for these um, uh, on a small screen if you actually have the um, text the raw raw manuka honey would actually all look exactly the same so I actually had to invert um, the um, coding on them to actually do. Also, I felt um, they go from low to high on their website, um, and I suddenly thought, no, go from high to low, so I switched the order around as well, and I also try to make a term for um, five or six different um, things, so ultimate, superior, premier, prime, maybe um, premier goes above and prime and then it's superior and then quality and normal and quality is pretty vague. Um, I ended up with an about page, I ended up with a honey, uh, some explanation pages what they have and then they have a link to a calculator and uh, I also, one of the things, I did see this app by this other chap that I thought was really cool um, is that he had multiple things on one map um, and if we just go to his map one here he's got a whole load of elements going through on that and I thought oh that would be a nice thing to do but I actually haven't been able to find it there's a couple of um, free add-ons where you could use maps my sheets and mapping sheets but they sort of so limited in their free versions that they're not that much, they're not very useful the other one that I'd seen was a video on how to use scripts to actually um, uh, do this and this was a demo from a 2015 one where you actually if you run this one and I'll just show you something on here I'm just going to copy that and put it over here because actually no I'll tell you what I do um, I'm actually going to do something on the fly and go FGH and uh, if I run this app, what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to create a, um, a marker on a map and put it as a link inside Google Sheets. And if you click on that, um, it would take you. But unfortunately, this was done in 2005 and there's an authentication issue that you've actually got to do. So I've signed up for Google Maps. I've got given all my key card details and things and I've done this math authorization, but it doesn't seem to work, which is a bit frustrating. So I haven't been able to get that to work, but I thought that would be quite good is that you could actually just have one map that would actually have um, the overall you so you could have all of those pins all on one map instead of the current thing which I've got which is uh, individual maps for each individual um, place 
the one useful thing with the, these maps is that one of them is for um, Auckland and the rest are for Wellington. So that was quite handy, is that it, it doesn't zoom out to the whole of the North Island. It actually just, uh, you know, specifically goes to wherever it was. So there's pluses and minuses to both. If you were doing uh, one that actually had a place in, a, in another part of the country, then you could do a separate map for that as to what I'd actually, um, how I'd plan to do it. So I was quite pleased with um, uh, a very simple um, is basically taking a lot of the information from his website and actually just putting it onto a little mobile app that was quickly um, there to do. So if you look on that, it's just got the information about it and the cost and it's got um, the sizes and products that you can actually buy. So these are the two weights that you can buy and it's got some other information. So straight in front of you, if somebody's just walking along, they see it at the market, they take the, the, the QR code um, scan from it and maybe they think about um, purchasing later. I thought um, it was a nice little exercise to try and use it for a product app and I suggested it to somebody else for using it for um, a gin distillery, um, uh, which is a boutique marketing that they do. I hope that's been of interest to you. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, can you please put a thumbs up on the video? Thank you.